red lights for the spooky season. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Silence of the Lambs. Now, I've never seen this movie. I know absolutely nothing about this movie. But I do know it's a classic movie from the 90s, from 1991. Like, my mom was like, hey, you should watch this. It's a, it's a really good classic. And I'm like, mom, I'm six years old. No, what's wrong with you? But I have no idea how scary or horrifying this movie really is. But it is our next horror movie for this spooky season. I kind of learned with the last movie we watched, A Quiet Place, that my my perception of horror movies and scary movies are, it, it's like pretty off, not gonna lie. Like I always think that they're gonna be way scarier than they actually are. So, so I'm not too nervous for this horror movie, but I'm definitely not gonna underestimate it. You know, definitely not gonna do that, but I'm actually excited to watch this. So, so anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that would be available on Patreon. That will be available on Patreon. Yeah, it'll be right here. So yeah, let's get started. Bill Skins fifth. Uh, all these murders. Uh, jobs come up, and I thought about you. Now in custody for a psycho behavioral profile. Mm. Could be a real help in unsolved cases. You spook easily, Starling? Nah. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. Mm -hmm. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Okay. Easy work. The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Oh. Hannibal the cannibal. Mm, okay, Hannibal Lecter. I've definitely heard that before. Definitely heard that name before. <laughs> Why the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? Mm. We should be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Mm-hmm. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. Okay. And what is that? A murderer? Oh, a, monster. a monster? Oh, monster, yeah. Okay, well, now I know what he's- now I know what Hannibal Lecter's from. That's cool. New Lecter is our most prized asset. Wait. That actor looks like- Detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. Okay. Chill. Um, I don't think it's him, but that looks like Brenner from Stranger Things. This could have been him, but way younger, you know? I don't think it's him, though. On the afternoon of July 8, 1981, mm -hmm. he complained of chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. It was a trap. Restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. You might have suggested this in my office and saved me the time. <laughs> I would have missed the pleasure of your company, sir. So it was like that Stranger Things scene in episode four. Where Nancy and Robin went to go visit Victor Creel. Alright. Good luck. What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Closer, please. Uh, no. <laughs> Closer. Nah. He's trying to bait her. Don't. You freaking. You dummy. So not to get too close to the glass. That expires in one week. Mm. You're not wearing an FBI, are you? Oh, he's gonna eat her alive. No pun intended. All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, yeah. Being locked up here. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You <laughs> call her out like that. Than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Agent Starling? Damn. Coal miner to this stinkable land. You know how quickly the boys found you. Jesus, bro. It's completely roasted her. High powered perception at yourself. Mm hmm. You're afraid to look yourself in the mirror. I ate his liver with <laughs> some fun. Ugh. Oh, oh my God! Do the 
discourtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Then do this test for me. No, but I will make you happy. I'll give you a chance, boss. Listen carefully. Look, go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M-O-F-E-T. Go Doctor. now. I don't think Mix could manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Go now! Okay, damn. All right, we're gonna go find that patient. Wow, fuck. That was an experience. That, that's kind of, that's a, that was a pretty traumatizing experience, dude. That fool really just threw his comb at her. Wow. Dead, Starling. Nice. You're dead. Starling, where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the yep. corner? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. Yep. Always mind your surroundings. Okay, we learned that from Batman Begins. Okay. Never run through an unknown door. We learned that in Saw 5. Migs is dead. Oh. Dad. Who was that? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Migs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Oh, okay, okay. The, oh, the guy who threw his comb on her. East. For 10 years. Prepaid in full. Damn, okay, they're storing shit in here. All right, there's a bunch of dead bodies in here. Hmm. With me. You call them if anything should happen. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, watch her go under there and the door shut, and the door shuts, and then she gets stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, I mean, that jack is gonna hold it up. You know, as long as that, that guy doesn't fucking move it. I was gonna make a Harry Potter joke of that owl, but I don't know the owl's name. <laughs> yeah, that's someone's face that got peeled off. That you rented that garage? Mm -hmm. hmm. Your bleeding has stopped. How did you? How did, she, how did he know she was bleeding? Or whose head is in that bottle? Yeah. Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? I might if I saw the case file. Mm -hmm. You could get that for me. Yeah, he could help us out. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer. It's the sort of thing that Migs would say. Not anymore. <laughs> Are you saying that he's killed again? Probably. I'll help you catch him, Clary. He really wants to see this case. I mean, shit, yeah, he probably could help us unless... You know who he is, don't you? Yeah, he probably does. <laughs> Tell me who decapitated your patient, Doctor. All good things to those who wait. Oh my god, yeah, he's just he's playing games, dude. How long can you and old Jackie boy wait? Yeah, he's just playing games with us, dude. It's like he has all the leverage because he's already locked up our Memphis, Tennessee. Like he's already locked up. What does he have to lose? It's probably gonna be Buffalo Bill's next victim, right here. Yeah, that car behind her. Oh God, what the hell? Oh uh, yeah, this is, yep. Bro, this fool has equipment. It's not like Jeffrey Dahmer, 10 Bundy, who just run up on you or try and charm you or whatever. This was decked out. He's like, hey, I need some help. Can you help me? I have a broken arm, I saw the cast. That's what Ted Bundy did. Can I help you with that? Oh, God. Would you? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Setting her up. Just getting a truck, and I want to push it all the way up to you. Oh, God. I really appreciate this. Thank you. <sighs> hey, see, are you about a size 14? Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Damn. Ah. Uh... Yep. 14, exactly. Oh, poor cat. Cat was really excited to see her too. Been in the water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. Got a real taste for it now, and he's getting better at his work. Not bad, Starling. Questions? Good analysis. Well, if that was the case, then I just, I just wish I was in on it. That's all. Yeah. What the fuck? He sent you in there with an actual agenda. Lecter would have known it instantly. Yeah. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. I mean, I kind of thought he already was toying with her a little bit. But I guess maybe he genuinely wants... To, I mean, he's still toying with her. But maybe he just... Maybe he wants to help. But yeah, if she went in there, like, strictly to get his help or whatever, he, he never would do it. 
But since she went in there just to like interview him, she came off as more genuine, so he offered the help. Smart move by Crawford. Uh, there's the family. What was that supposed to Is Alex supposed to be her when she was younger? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, they're doing coke. Wakes you up. Gets you focused. <laughs> Gonna crack this case. <laughs> don't do coke. Wait, I don't think that was coke, actually. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think that's just so they don't smell anything. I don't know. Whatever. So they don't, they can't smell the dead body or something? I don't, whatever. Oh. Oh. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. Yeah. Okay. She's got something in her throat. Oh God, what's this gonna be? The fuck? Wait. The hell is that? That's a bug cocoon. Oh. There's no way that could get way down in there like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that dude, the Buffalo Bill. I'm. He stuffed it in her throat. Peace. Still my turn. The fuck. Nice and slow, baby. Playing chess with bugs? <laughs> From practically mush. Oh, yeah, they'll know what the fuck that is. Elk River, West Virginia. It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? Mm hmm. Uh, house wine. Are you hitting on me, Doc? Yes. Bro, I know you ain't trying to get in with those teeth. Somebody loved him. Okay. Yep. Oh, this is Buffalo Bill's house. I swear to God, bro, this better not be his goddamn house. It is foul to live like this. I mean, it definitely is with all these bugs in here and shit. You, you have that power. Anywhere she keeps repeating the name. Mm -hmm. She sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. Yep. It's harder to tear her up. Smart. The senator promises you a transfer Ooh. to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York, yep. with a view of the woods nearby. Maximum security still applies. Yep. You can, so you can get your view. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour under SWAT team surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, that's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Watch him just deny it, though. Non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Ooh, yep. So if she dies, so the pressure's on. Let's see how good you really are. If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us too. Quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. Oh, no. Yes, and now, Clarice, poor little Catherine is waiting. God damn. What is your worst memory of childhood? Oh, he wants to get to know her. Death of my father. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it and don't lie so, for right now. <laughs> he was a ten. Yeah, he'll pro he probably will though. But that was when she was uh, watching the funeral. That was she probably that was probably supposed to be her as a little kid, and like seeing her father in the casket. My father had become the whole world. Oh. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? Bro, we're just gonna play this game. And you said that I was very close to the way we would catch him. What did you mean, Doctor? There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. John's Harvey assignment at one or all of them and been rejected. On what basis would they reject him? It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Jesus. Saying it. First or as an it, you know, not a person. Dehumanizer. Now it places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> What's the fucking lotion in the basket? God damn. Oh, is that her finger now? Ah. She's mocking her. She's having a panic attack, and he's just mocking her. I'm gonna walk on some beach and see the birdies. <laughs> no. How the fuck does he have a well in his house? All right. Deal with you. They scam. Oh, we got Hannibal out here. 
There never was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. I designed it. Of course. So, oh, he's, he's looking at that fan right there. He can't help his impulsive, his impulses. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. Mm. Much of the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions of my own. But no, bro, it's non-negotiable. Yeah, that's there so he can't bite anyone. <laughs> Did you have a trainee make some sort of phony offer to Lecter in the senator's name? Oh, shit. Yeah, I rolled the dice I had to. Yeah. Well, she's mad as hell, Jack. Paul Krendler's... Well, that sucks. We do what we gotta do. Oh. There we go with the mask. I recognize the mask on his face. Well, it makes sense why, you know. Treat us. You be a gentleman. You're gonna get three hot Okay, he kind of looks like Matt Smith, in a little, like a little bit. Obviously, it's not him, but like this could be his dad. I wouldn't be surprised. Here, sir, use mine. Yep, Hannibal got his pen. How though? It's literally in a straitjacket. That guy has a sick ass mustache. Senator Martin, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Let me help you now, and I will trust you when it is all over. Okay. You have my word, Paul. Bell's real name is Lewis Friend. Apparently, Lewis had murdered a transient and done things with the skin. We need his address. Now, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't Bro, it? what the fuck? God damn, dude. Mom, when your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? God, he's just playing games, dude. Yeah, get this thing out of my face, dude. And strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale oh. blue. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. Give us more information. Remember, Mom. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. All right, bro. We got all the information we need out of you. Could be oh, lying for all we know. What? Love your suit. Fuck you. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before your boat booted off the Cape? Yeah. People will say we're in love. Jesus Christ. It's a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> the boys, Clarice. Simplicity. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. The first and principal thing he does. What needs does he serve by killing? His impulses? No. He covets. The eyes moving of your body, Clarice. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Tell me, Clarice, you don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave? Later. Now, please listen to me. We've only got five. No. I will listen now. God damn it, bro. Yeah, he has so much leverage. It's like she has to listen to him and answer. I went downstairs outside. What did you see, Clarice? What did you uh, see? Lambs. Lambs. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. Well, well you still wake up sometimes, don't you? Wake up in the dark. Hear the screaming of the lamb. Mm hmm. You save poor Catherine. You could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again. Mm -hmm. That awful screaming of the lamb. He's on to it. I don't know. He's on. He just pinpointed her motivations, her inner demons. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Yeah. Tell me his name, doctor. Get, stop screaming in your head. Okay, yeah, don't forget that. Bye, See ya. Oh, oh, don't touch me. See ya never again. And silence of the lambs. It's about Clarice trying to silence the lambs in her head. I think he's toying with her, but I also think he just kind of wants to get to know her. And figure out her motivations too, and it's also because she's like one of the only people 
he's talked to consistently in like the last eight years like the only other people he's talked to are just like the guards that like you know they don't give a fuck like she's genuinely interested to solve the case and so he's using that as a way to like just socially interact because it's been so long for him so to him he just wants to feel that genuine connection of a conversation so that's why he's forcing her forcing her to tell him about herself for more information i'm guessing son of a bitch demanded a second dinner lamb <laughs> chops extra rare oh lamb chops wow <laughs> oh shit all right he's getting out of here same drill as before please mm-hmm Mm. Yeah, he put the drawings on there on purpose. Buy more time. Cause he, you know, he knew. He knew they would come in here. They'd have to clean up the drawings, give him a little extra time to unlock the handcuffs. <gasps> yep. Oh, ah! Get that guy's face off. Oh, he took his pepper spray. Took his mace. Uh. Oh no! Ah! I'd kick him in the kneecaps as hard as I fucking could. All right. Yeah. If I was that, yeah. If I was the cop that was handcuffs, I'd kick him in the kneecaps as hard as I could. Cause that's like the only thing you can do. He reminds me of the Joker. You know, I feel like that'd be a pretty good, pretty good way to portray the Joker. Somebody go up on five. No, nobody went up. Mm. Oh, Pambry asking to tell. What's he? Oh, shit. Bobby, get the vest. Right, Sarge. Brady, how? You know, what's Hannibal gonna do now? What's his plan now? We're going up. I think he used the elevator as a distraction, so they'd all come up here. Oh, what the fuck? I feel like Hannibal did this as a distraction so they all come up here and he can get out. Oh. Oh, God. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. Hey, it's Jim Pamry now. Talk to him, damn it. Oh, he's barely breathing. You look real good there. Yeah, he's he's trying his best to talk to him. I mean, honestly, kind of thinking about it, they should have more than just two cops with Lecter, bro. Cause you never know what this fucker is capable of or what he's thinking or what he's gonna do, you know? Like, I mean, it seems pretty simple to watch him, you know, just make sure he doesn't do anything, you know? But those cops seem kind of too relaxed. Those cops seem like they were way too relaxed, you know? Like, oh shit. Oh shit. What's up there? Oh god. Okay, guys. Mm. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's just another dead body. <laughs> There's a gun by his hand. He's not moving. It's a trap! We need him alive. It looks like he killed himself, but I doubt it. I mean, shit, he might be dead. Or it could just be someone else he put his clothes on. You know, so they think it's him. Ooh. Yeah, they're dead. I'm gonna say it's not him. Okay, maybe. 26, we're inbound with a 50 year old male police activity, but he's post tickle now. That's Hannibal. Yep, that's him. Got him on lactated ringers running and the Smart. Smart, smart, smart. Tore his face off to pretend it's him. And pretend he's the other cop. Smart. That's why they weren't really showing the cop's face too much. You know, I was looking, I was like, eh, it looks kind of weird. But then I was like, I'll just watch and see what happens. But smart. Making a mask. Like there's some pattern here. Principles. Simplicity. We covet what we see. Yeah, I don't think he's toying with her. It just seems like he is because he's trying to get her to actually learn and understand what he's saying rather than just telling her straight up. 
so she could put the clues together herself. Instead of just handing her the answers, she'll actually have to piece it all together. He's teaching her what to look for and everything. Mm. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of oh. and, he, and he can sew this guy. He's, he's yeah, very okay. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while so that he can loosen their skin. Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Oh, shit, okay. Calumet City, edge of Chicago. Be on the ground in 45 minutes with HRT. Yeah, she figured it out. Making a suit. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why he was sewing the skin earlier. Lecture's description was accurate. He just lied about the name. Yeah, figured he'd be lying about us. at least one thing. The addressee was a James Gum. Treat. Uh. I'll get the dog down here and threaten the dog. You know, get the dog down here. And then be like, let me out or I'll kill your dog or something. Who do you fuck with? I'd fuck with you. Wait. I'd fuck with you. Wait, that's a fucking family guy. He made a reference of this one time. Okay. Now I get it. I remember Chris was doing the same exact thing. and said the same exact thing. Alright. Now I get the reference. Sewing was her life. Hmm. He's getting ready to kill her, so he's gonna put that down her throat. Oh. Ah. Oh god, we got this motherfucker. let swat him. Down here, you sack of shit! Oh. Here's attention. <gasps> Don't kill the dog. Don't kill the dog. Now you give me a telephone and lower it down here now. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Don't kill the dog. Darling, how are you all right? She's in a lot of pain. Don't snap the dog's neck. Bro, I mean, the SWAT team is right here, so. Uh, okay. That's why she's crying. My dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! And you don't know what pain is! Oh, I wonder what's in that box. <laughs> it's about to be a shotgun, like, Terminator. Oh, he's, oh, okay, he's gonna be like, special delivery, and then pull out a shotgun, like, Arnold in T2. Oh, mm. Answer the damn door. Oh, shit. Good afternoon. Wait, did they get the wrong house? <gasps> Oh shit, they got the wrong house, but she got the right one! That's a good twist. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Yep. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Yeah, I... Okay, I she just realized... She just realizes the guy. Because it fits the profile of the girls he's after. That's why he asked. I don't know. She probably didn't actually realize, but it was a clue. You know? Are you close to catching somebody, you think? Yes. Oh, she knows. She she has to know. Take over this place after Mrs. Lippman died, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that right? Any business records, tax forms. Dude, she's gonna see that butterfly and be like, this is the guy. Hey, has the FBI learned something? The Plastic wrap. The first clue. Oh, she could hear the moths. Oh, okay, there's one out actually. All right. Okay, now she's realizing for for real. Yeah, he wants to know. See if they're onto him. Yep, I I'm just shooting this old dude. And his guns in there. Oh, she's so nervous. He she knows. My phone. <gasps> Put your hands over your head and turn around. Spread your legs. Oh, he's not even nervous, dude. Spread your legs. Put your hands in the. Come on, this is your training. Oh, fuck. Fuck. She sh you should have just shot him, dude. Fuck it. Shoot him, like, in the shoulder or something. Oh, shit. I mean, it's like, she well, like, what if she had the wrong person? She shot the wrong person, you know? Well, then it's like, oopsies, you're getting a fat check. All right, my bad. <laughs> Because if you shoot him, then you get him. You stop him, basically. He's just going to fall on the ground. Big, oh, you know, I'm willing to take that risk. I don't know if she really learned from her training, though, because she just let him go around that corner. No problem. Hey, wait, he might be behind the door. Remember, 
Your sergeant literally capped you earlier in your training. Don't forget. I'll get you out of there, but right now you listen to me. I've got to leave this room. I'll be right back. Oh. No, don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch. But we got to detain him first or kill him first so we don't have to worry about him. Like, he can literally snake me as I'm helping you out of here, you know? I will be back. Don't worry. Yeah, she's just so scared. It's like, bro, where'd this fucker go? And what about Hannibal, bro? Like, he's just in. Last time we saw him, he was in the ambulance. Alright. Oh. Oh, he turned the fucking lights off. Fuck. Oh, night vision. Oh, that's his vision. Shit. Yeah, he had these earlier. That's so scary. She has no idea. <gasps> uh, I feel like he's just gonna follow her. Uh, he might just follow her. <gasps> uh, oh, this. Oh. Oh no no no. Him this close. Oh fuck. Please don't die. Come on. She's gonna hear that. She's gonna hear that. Boom. Slip that. Ooh. Bro, he's on the ground. I'm taking my gun and I'm just <laughs> in his fucking face. Are you kidding me? Oh, he got cat. He's fine. I mean, he's dead. All right. Never mind. Uh, we got Catherine. You know what? I wouldn't even follow up on the deal with Hannibal. Well, yeah, he escaped now, so it's like deals off for sure if we get him back. But he's on the loose now, so it's like whatever. But if he, if we still had him in custody, I would be like, hey, you remember that deal? Yeah, <laughs> you know. Thanks for the help. <laughs> That's what I would do. Uh, she made it. Ernest W. Stevens. Proud of you, champ. Special agent, man. Phone call. Watch it be Hannibal. And, uh, I'm not much good at this kind of thing, so I'm gonna duck out of here. Okay. Me. <laughs> your father would have been proud today. Definitely. Don't forget your phone call. Starling. Wow, Clarice. Yep. Have the lamb stopped screaming? God, yep. Since you solved it, did you silence them? Calling you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you in it. Ooh. Take care now to extend me the same courtesy. I promise. I do wish we could chat longer, but. Is he wearing a wig? I'm having an old friend for dinner. Ah, uh, that's tough. Bye. Having an old friend for dinner. One of his former associates. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, that fuck it. Yep. I just absolutely mock him. Matt Smith, yeah. I'd eat Matt Smith too. <laughs> All right. <sighs> well, that was Silence of the Lambs. Damn. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, I my expectations. I thought this movie was gonna be pretty solid, cause you know, like it's a classic movie, right? But it was actually a lot better than I even thought. You know, like I already thought it was gonna be good, but it was better. Damn, okay. All right, so that was Silence of the Lambs. What a great movie. That was that was a great movie, actually. One of the best movies I've seen in a very long time, you know? Pretty, pretty cool. Now I, got, now I know where Hannibal Lecter's actually from because I've always heard that name, you know, like throughout with horror movies, you know, and like I never knew. That was cool to see where he's from and learn about him. So I really enjoyed that part. You know, obviously Lecter's a very smart man. He understands psychology very well. He understands human psychology very well. You know, definitely not scary, but uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. <laughs> Comfortable and weird. This is actually the first movie I think I've seen Jodie Foster in too, because like I, I recognize that name, but don't ever think I've seen a movie with her in it. But so this is first for that. I think she did a really good job in this. Hannibal Lecter, very interesting character. Very interesting, you know? 
obviously a very smart man, likes to toy with people, you know, but I don't think he was, like I said earlier, I don't think he was actually toying with Clarice too much, like, obviously, okay, he was a little bit, but for the most part, he was trying to help her, but he was just basically giving her clues to figure it out herself instead of just kind of handing her everything because, you know, that's the only way she's really going to learn, so. The Silence of the Lambs, you know, there were no lambs in this movie. I'm just kidding. Um, I just thought of that, I just thought of, like, that Deadpool thing where, you know, he was reacting, <laughs> reacting to, um, 101 Dalmatians. He's like, where are the fucking dogs? You know? I don't know. Okay, anyways. But, no, it was actually just a metaphor for it all because it was Clarice trying to silence the lambs in her head. You know, the lambs are what drove her, that backstory of her, you know? Dr. Lecter trying to figure out, like, what drives her, what motivates her, trying to get to know her, you know? And it was the lambs. The lambs are her motivation to save people, you know, because she couldn't save the lambs or whatever. So, it's like she can kind of redeem herself in a way by helping out, by working for the FBI and solving these cases, right? And so, when she solved the case, she silenced the lambs. I don't know, that's what I think. That could be completely wrong. Let me know, please. But yeah, that was Silence of the Lambs. I really enjoyed this movie. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.